Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld, where I'm just sitting here staring at Catherine right now. She's got her on block cutting, and and what I'm mostly looking at, though, is right there. Something I just found out, kind of a punch to the gut, too. You don't gain any experience cutting blocks anymore. Old school RimWorld, when I first got the game, you used to cut their teeth on block cutting and get their their uh, uh, crafting skill up there before you turn them loose on smithing and, and uh, sewing or tailoring. They don't do it anymore. Here, I've been <laughs> sending them in here and schooling them how to, how to craft so they can get to work on, you know, this guy and this guy, and it doesn't work. So you've got to teach them how to craft by making horrible helmets. That's That's not nice. But that's the way it is now, apparently. So, crafting or block cutting now is just for the point of making blocks. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I set up an area here to receive blocks. I see Divot and Yuta and Sienna and all of them are just having a ball bringing everything that I've marked. I marked all the ones that are inside of walls and blocking pathways, that sort of thing. All the high priority ones. Catherine's going to do her best to haul anything else in. Otherwise, oh, he snuck away. Shantigo was over here mining out his kitchen. He figured if he's going to get this done, he's just going to do it himself. <laughs> and I also went through and started to break down all of our doors. I got to thinking, the whole point of this turret chase here is to place a turret there and there and there. And if we get a bug infestation, then we'll pop open... And I'm, I'm busy here pop open a door, let this thing shoot at the bugs, and I'm going to have doors here and here as well, so that if they take out this turret and run into this space here, this turret over here is going to be shooting at them, and this one over here is going to be shooting at them, and I'll well, probably shoot in this turret too, but so we could probably lose three turrets each time we have a infestation within a, a, a bedroom block. But that's kind of the idea here. But wooden doors, they'll bust through so fast. They'll bust through these walls quite fast too. But wooden doors, they'll just, you know, look at them and they'll fall apart. We really need granite block stone doors in this place. We need to hold them back a little bit longer so the turrets will have a chance to do some good and we'll have time to run from way over there to get over here to flip the switch to turn on the turret run and after we have i don't know how snuck through hold this door open maybe trigger this one to be held open start to walk through it pause change the order to run back through and set that to close when they walk through it somehow just get them in and out of there as fast as they can at and then have someone already standing here ready to flick the switch as soon as this door starts to close because otherwise the, if the turret's on it's going to start shooting as soon as that door starts to crack open a little bit including the person standing there trying to open the door so that have to take some very good timing this is a problem where is it uh only 319 watt days of energy in this system so that tells me it's the uh, the the turret system over there by uh, the barn so yeah it's up in this area what actually blew? Something over there blew. Uh, power conduit. And it didn't actually... Okay, I guess I'm looking at something right here. But it didn't actually take it out. It just damaged it. Let's look over here. Granite wall, uh, it lost 10 in hit points. And none of the conduits in this area are damaged. Interesting. Uh, took damage out over here. There's no conduit over here. Huh. I noticed uh, that on one of Catherine's episodes, too, that she had a zit, and it didn't actually do any damage to the conduit. It just kept running, and she was looking for the, the piece of conduit that must have gone bad, but nothing went bad. So there's another little change to beta 18. It doesn't actually destroy your conduit when you short out and, and you know, short out your conduit. So it just makes damage to the area. That's interesting also. So that's not a high critical issue to go and deal with. It did take out all the power of the uh, of the batteries here though. Which is why I want to have this system going. If we had a zit, we would lose... Okay, let's go back to that. We would lose roughly 4,000 watts. And the explosion would be the equivalent of 4,000 watts. It wouldn't be four little squares like over there. It'd be a whole area going up in flames. 
And with that going on, in fact, that isn't Catherine, wasn't that what took down your, your wooden prison? I don't think it was a lightning strike. I think it was a zit. But um, which is then it, it drains the whole system like we saw over there, but we can turn this switch on and suddenly this power dumps into the system and is available while this is recharging. So we do need to come up with a redundant setup over here, which is probably what we could do with this extra two batteries. I have to rework this. Rethink, you know, think this one through again and come out one step further and over and then a switch into this bank over a switch into this bank and that way we could remove a bank and still have it going we could switch from this to that if we lose power again yeah gotta think about that so redundancy is important when you're living out on the edge of the verse anyway what was that minor break risk is Cathra who doesn't like block cutting <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. You're not doing it of your own free will. That's why. Okay, you go eat that. And so this right here, no skill gain, no experience gain was something that uh, Lady Shell had brought up, as well as the idea of putting the... Uh, um, I'm going to say here, putting, putting a table and chairs out here so that they can eat down in this area and not get the... Cathra, you snuck away the needs... Um, eight without a table. You're here somewhere right there. Negative three. It's not a big one. It's not usually anything that really offsets anybody now. We see minor break risk very seldom anymore. So we're, we're a pretty good bunch right now. But um, where did she go anyway? She went to sleep because it's sleep time, not because she truly needed it. But that's fine. She'll get up early and start her day again. All right. Um, had a go frenzy happen while I was doing some behind the scenes stuff. So Tomislav is jump to you're over here i've got you on hauling duty no i've got you well you were on hauling you went and found a dead boar that was up in here because we got ourselves a new timber wolf where'd you go you're up in this area there and in fact we've got a whole bunch of animals that have shown up i got to just wandering up here right before i started the episode got lots of pigs lots of pigs got a whole herded herd of deer over there uh turkeys um, yeah, pigs all through here as well as, as the deer. Got a few things marked for hunt, but we're kind of running out of our advantage of being able to outrun all the animals. So now when they when they berserk on us, they're going to potentially catch us and you know take us down. So I did assign Tomislav to kind of finish up the uh, the TDS here, the tactical defense structure. So he's he's working on these, but um, I'm thinking the best way in my mind to do hunting now is is kind of what we did to the wargs up there form a hunting party and just come in with overwhelming force that way if the you know if a whole bunch of deer start coming at us there's a chance we could take them you know at least split up and take them down as they're coming or send the fastest runner running hope that they go after that one and have the rest of them just start taking them out as they're running back and forth and back and forth and back and forth so that might be what we want to do after this sleep cycle is done so next morning assuming that there isn't a, a big red well big red uh, square coming down there telling us raid they will attack immediately um also went through I, last time after our ship was done i just out of habit set all the dogs to unrestrict but actually we got a new area over here the animal no trap zone which would be basically not just the dogs but all the haulers hauling now is right there so we've got wild boar one is set for hauling it is trained for hauling the other ones are set to be trained so he is also he or she he is set to be part of this too which i expanded to encompass the new uh, uh tree farm area so that as they cut those trees down they build a haul the wood in. they've done a pretty good job of hauling all the wood already out of here but also eliminates their ability to walk through any of our traps and make auto pistol put that one back in there for natalia to uh to just finish it rather than have it sitting there waiting and then added more to encompass more of the area that were you know that there could be something for them to haul so took out bedrooms eventually we'll go through and take out all the bedrooms in here once all the, the chunks are, are out of here and cleaned up so we'll eventually you know kind of 
craft this zone to, to fit whatever the final plan is going to be. And I kind of cut him off from going too far north since most of our hunting tends to be higher up. Hill root is rotting. That's happening up in here. And that's fine. Uh, we're at the 8th of April, May. I believe we are warm enough. We're at 47 degrees. The plants are not going to be harmed anymore. We could very well take down the roofs on these and get back to full growing, natural growing. So I think that is also this episode's plan. So I do that now. Now is there a secret to doing that? Will Handy automatically take this down in a way that it cannot drop on her? I'm assuming that she will. I can just go through and simply designate, uh, let's see, zone, remove roof. Let's remove roof from that area right there, just to be safe. And here, like so, and then set you to flick and you to flick. We'll shut down power. These will no longer be affected by rain, and we're no longer going to be using the power load that we have been using, which means over on this side that we can take that 2,900 watts and put it into moisture pumps. Since Catherine was telling me that basically this guy starts in a spiral and works its way outward. It doesn't specifically target the one, so we're not going to get to this fourth one over here until that thing spirals three times. So setting one right here, after we mined it all out to catch this group and catch this guy with the same pump, means it would have to spiral forever until it finally gets out to them. So may as well put one right there and one where'd he go? One like right there and just get these done. Which means we're going to need 150 watts times three to pull this off. So be nice to have shut these down. Okay, we're out of power there. And Natalia is running out here to turn this one off. Out of power. Oh, it just turned on and just turned off. Great. So there's a power load we no longer need. Nata Handy likes to remove roofs. That will be her. And put on roofs. I went ahead and set them into this area too. Kind of thinking, what would we do if we get the toxic fallout? Is that what it's called? Kind of an acid rain that goes through and kills about anything that it touches, including all of our trees. And that's the reason to have a tree farm, too. Toxic fallout can wipe out trees all over the map. And your crops and your animals and just about anything else, that, uh, including yourselves. So you want covered pathways and covered growing areas and all kinds of, you know, changes to the map when that happens. And it might be nice just to kind of have a covered pathway that runs through this area. This is needing... You know what? Let's shut this guy down. We don't need him now we'll, Now that we no longer have this issue here. So, in fact, let's get that one finished. Zone. Remove roof. This entire area here. And there too. Tell you what, let's ignore roof there. In fact, we don't need to take it off the walls, so let's just do that. Less work to take down and put back on again. Um, same thing over here. Let's remove roof to this area. Okay, and he's off to do that, though. Did it in a different order, but she already had the order to... Well, we should be fine, right? You know, I'm not convinced. I'm just not convinced. Um, what we got there? Build roof. There. Remove roof this area first. I know we're good to five out. One, two, three, four, five. I guess it would have worked. But still, it just... Oh, you don't really need to build them again, but it just feels better to me to do it that way. So remove roof once I know that we've got good sunlight all through the middle of this. Even though it's just a one little roof section, if that were to come down and she was happen to be standing right there, I could just see, you know, the extreme odds taken out handy or major injury or something it's just not worth it to me anyway so i think i've covered most everything that i wanted to talk about hunting party needs to be thought about um i want to start researching chem fuel so we can start making mortars so we can start placing mortars let's place a mortar well let's get the construction done in here then we'll place mortars in there now mortars i don't think there's any way they can explode or at least not in any previous alpha that I'm aware of. They tend to be a target. They want to, you know, the enemies want to come and target it, but they got to go through doors to get there. So not likely going to happen as compared to mortars sitting out in here. And their, their aim is to get in there and blow that thing up. 
but so I was just thinking on wood floors in here. I don't think that's really a problem. Shouldn't be. Okay. Um. Hmm. Am I seeing rain? No, it's clear. Okay. Hunting party. It's probably where we want to get going right now. I think so. Anything else going on here? Because we're out of meat. That's what I got to, to realizing. We've got nine insect meat left. And what are you? Forty venison. Venison. I did set some hunting. Someone must have come up here and already did some hunting. Uh huh. We could have already had some drama. But let's figure out who best to do that. Let's look at needs. So, Tomasov's good. Handy's good. Rabbit's good. Chantico's good. Klaus is good. Sangria. Cathra. Just wondering if we, except for maybe our night owls. Actually, we can get Michael. We can even wake up Michael. What if we have just say, although Miss P is about to crash, she's been working all night. Um, Alicia, one massive hunting party, just for fun. What could possibly go wrong, huh? Um, who's equipped with what, though? Let's think about that. I know we've got uh, assault rifle, we've got three snipers out here. What if Handy were to... Actually, I need to let Handy kind of get finished with what she's doing. So, all right, we'll let Candy do that while Rabbit comes out. Raid. Oh, man. <sighs> okay, well, we knew it was coming. Hunting party will have to be next episode, along with the massive cleanup and everything else. Raid, what does it mean? A group of tribes people from the Accord Mino has arrived nearby. I thought we've traded with them before, have we not? They're attacking immediately. You guys are up here. You're not too big. You're doable. Who's out here? And Timberwolf needs. You're not quite hungry yet, so that's not a problem. You're coming in. Ah, we got all our little walls up here. You guys have got some major decisions to come up with. Some are going all the way over, which means 50-50 chance of coming gauntlet or not. We should maybe think about a, a wall right here and a wall right there. That's interesting. That forces them to use the gauntlet. Ooh. Of course, that also forces everybody over here to use the river. So that's... It's got its pluses and minuses there. Otherwise, you're going to come through the river here and eventually work your way down into here. And then most likely, since this is all blocked off now, you're going to most likely take the gauntlet or go way over the top. Hmm. Well, first of all, who is coming at us. We've got, look at the, the war masks. Is that what they're called? Gear, war veil, devil strand. Good stuff. Look at all the devil strand. There's red all over here. This this uh, this tribe has got access to devil strand. Tribal wear. Stuff is valuable, right? You are worth $210. Gay or silver. We need a, well, I guess you could say that could be an S for silver, if they took the line out of there and put some other marking in there, like two lines this way, maybe that could be silver monies instead of American dollar symbol. Anyway, you are Tasco. You have got a recurve bow and you don't really know how to use it. You've got a bow. You are a badger. You also don't know how to use it. Locust. Melee club doesn't know how to use it we've got minyoko with a bow doesn't know how to use it oh we're, we're lucking out here so far we've got another bow short bow doesn't know how to use it trunka and coyote sword knows how to use it so coyote is an issue coyote you um pessimist super immune Ooh, trigger happy and no, well, Trigger Happy goes against you. No, you... I've got a sword, though. Okay. And your running speed is kind of normal. All right. So, that's that one. You are... Sira And Knife. And don't know how to use it. Tronka, we've got you. Kanga. We've got... Shortbow. And not really skilled at it. Rega. Recurve Bow. And has the potential to use it there. So, Rigo, female, 
Gotta be aware of you. All right, who are you? Vol. Great bow, superior quality. Only four at shooting. So working our way down into here. Locust, we've done you, and we've done you. So two left over here. So Brixos, boy, there's a lot of vowels in there. Um, you have got a short bow and don't know how to use it. And there we go, Colmia Club. Don't know how to use it. So this is very possible that we're going to be doing just fine. Just a matter of getting them in here. Um, we decided that Mississippi was going to be crashing soon. Needs. Yep. And Alicia. No. Natalia? Michael is sleeping. So we'll get him up soon. Um, snipers. Snipers. How do I want to deal with snipers? Do we set a sniper or two right here to shoot down the length? We could. Hmm. We could. And then set two more for this area. And then two more for right around this corner. And just see what the snipers can do in our gauntlet this time. That might be a good test for it. Okay, that's Handy, Rabbit, and Klaus. The ones that took out the uh, the, the ship up there. Alright then, Handy's busy. And I'm glad I didn't swap everybody out then. Rabbit you sniper and needs you're in good shape you are viewing art you are down in here viewing agira by orange that had nothing to do with agira um you are let's see we got a ways before we really got to deal with this though i guess except for making sure nobody goes hunting in fact let's just do that you guys know hunting and there was one turkey that I remember up higher. Nothing else over here. Right there, an emu. Okay. And was there still a turkey? No. So we're good now. And I don't remember flagging anything else to go up and get. Uh, Tomislav, you were... Does it say in your needs or health that you are still inspired? Does that show up anywhere? It'll show, it'll show up here. 5.4 is not normal for you. So you are still inspired, which means I've got you set for hauling temporarily to make use for that, your go frenzy. So I want to make sure you're hauling locally. Otherwise, Sangria is going to be busy. Well, they may go out and do some more planting. They've got a lot of trees in, though. You see all the poplars, willows, got the maples in. Yeah, but they may run out there to do that. So nobody has run, we've struck compact machinery. Nobody's run south, they're all going this way, so nobody's taking the river route. Compact machinery is in this area, that's fine. I flagged the whole, boy, the whole hospital to be taken down. And I probably need to get these walls in while I remember what it looked like. Okay, so we've got here structure. This is all marble. So this would be here. This goes across like so looks like that's the opening so this is going to be the bedroom that area uh this is actually a wall so cancel that group right there so wall actually goes through there okay and that is the surgery and wall right there and wall right there okay that looks funny Gotta stare at that. That's okay. That's the wall around there. That is the pathway there. So that one is not a wall. And cancel. All right. So actually, the wall's right there. Okay. I'm getting it. There we go. So actually, I got rid of that, didn't I? You mine. And wall is right there. That's right. That makes more sense. And eventually in there somewhere is a bedroom too. All right, I have a door. But you guys are where now? You're still over here. Nobody's broken off. Yeah, it's going to be a while before they're actually going to get here. Which means they're going to be hungry. They're going to be bickering and yelling at each other. Got a good chance for people to be sliding each other and, and get into bad moods. It's good stuff. But we're starting to kind of get there. So, although I still don't know where we're going. I guess this is our decision point, right? Because we can't get back to here once we pass that point right there. All right, once we see where folks are going, then we can decide where they're going. But we do have turkey. None of ours. We do have animals. 
and I, I set the alpaca grazing zone for here and here so we can get a hold of some grass. Nobody's taken advantage of it yet, and I was kind of wondering why nobody had moved over there, so I went ahead and added a pathway in between, but I don't believe they have to have it. I don't think they have to connect. I think if they are allowed to be in here or here, they will make the travel between. At least they used to. In case that has changed, I went ahead and, and uh, threw that little path in there. Though I'm a little concerned about right here. Tell me, that deep water can and that deep water, can these guys go diagonal? Or does that eliminate this pathway? For It seems like I've seen them, uh, our own people, reroute to go all the way down and back again because they wanted to go from there to there. And so they went all the way around like that to do it which tells me that is a viable pathway. So I guess I can send somebody out there and just look at the pathway to verify that. But I went ahead and included that into this just to uh, just to make sure that they can get there. But nobody is there right now. Um, it probably is time to tell the animals to go to safe zone because they tend to take quite a while to trigger before they start to do it, which means all of our hauling is going to come to an end, unfortunately. But animals, once you guys all jump into the dog safe zone, which is the little barn area there and the indoor area here, they all qualify for it, which means we're going to have a mess to clean up later. We do have food, though. There, we've got some corn that's landed over there. It's going to be nice to get another uh, haul of food in soon. We're going to be actually getting a bit close to, uh, to running low. What are we on in food? on vegetables. We still have over a thousand vegetables. Okay. And then over here, we're in this guy. We still got almost 300 ish, a little over 300 of the, uh, the, the hay and 75 of the, of the kibble. So we'll be fine for this event though. I do see we probably need to put a third stack of kibble in there soon too. Um, all right. So you guys are coming in there. Animals being put away. Uh, time to go ahead and trigger this to be turned on. We still, we do have some power in there, which is good. Uh, especially since we got rid of the need for power over here. So that we're charging our batteries better. Anything else to do in preparation besides waiting for them to split so we can see where people need to get into position? Um, I don't think so. Let's, let's get food going. Needs. Who needs a meal? Handy, you are taking this roof down. These can survive a day without... without uh, daylight so i think i can i can distract you there i did set up i didn't mention it set up a lot of growing areas around the place in between episodes in fact i put some flowers in just for fun too some little flower beds but got uh, all of our of our uh, rich soil set up and i want to go ahead and probably grab this area too for rich soil unfortunately the rich soil outside of our walls means that we're going to have wildlife eating it so we're going to lose some of it, but we're also going to get increased productivity so that uh, unless it's a herd of deer coming through and just, you know, munching on everything, we'll still uh, uh, gain a lot more food than we'll lose out of that. Uh, strawberries are going back into, into this one. But what else? Anything else I have not covered? I don't think so. I think I've got everything now discussed that I played with. Um, Handy, you ultimately can come down and get a meal. That's where I was heading. Rabbit, you're fine. Shantigo, you'll be fine. We did get an animal in. You're grabbing meat and, and going to make some meals. Yeah, you, you can you can ride this one out. Klaus, you too. Sangria, good. Catherine's fine. Natalia and Michael. Michael's still sleeping. Let's get him up and grab a meal that'll give you a boost and to offset the rest that's that's not there miss p is sound asleep and alicia it's time to get you a meal too so you can jump in on this all right so meals are getting eaten and we'll let these guys make their decision now where are you going that's an awful lot of you not taking the gauntlet that's every one of you not taking the gauntlet interesting this will be the first attack where we've had the gauntlet fully loaded I was wondering and I was warned that, you know, they will pick the easiest way and the easiest way is going to be the river. Though at that time, they half of them did take the gauntlet and we did have all of these stones in place. And I think a random few of these. And yet they still chose the gauntlet. But now we've got a whole lot more obstacles in place. 
and maybe now we've hit the tipping point where they're no longer going to choose the gauntlet which means I guess we need to get in here and dumb down the gauntlet a bit maybe every other stone's got to leave which means I gotta you know untrip all those traps or mm, I guess take down a wall section in between each one so we can walk into the middle so that might be the next experiment this always worked up until this series it's always, you know, I've always done the gauntlet. It's always just worked marvelously. But I guess RimWorld enemies are starting to get a little bit smarter than they used to be. They used to be dumb enemies. Now, yeah, we're we're gonna we've got an actual issue here. Okay, Klaus, you're hired. Come on over here. Rabbit, you are sowing daylilies. You're hired and drafted. You're going over there. All right, let's work our way through. Handy, you're still eating? You're still eating, and I can't say when you're done, go over to somewhere else, so you're just going to be eating. All right, Chantigo, you have got a charge rifle. Hmm. Tomislav did not get these built. Okay. Though we are under cover under darkness here, so that's going to be helpful. I need these guys to be uh, held open, and I need this guy chopped down. But Chantigo, you could experiment with this go right draft go here let you shoot into there we'll see how that goes we still did not put any of these doors in no in fact now's the time to do it now that we don't have to worry about temperature so now is the time to uh to go ahead and, and puncture these walls and if they don't get rebuilt immediately that'll be fine okay working our way through klaus you are assigned sangria you've got a charge rifle you could have been a lure to attract them over, but it didn't work. Well, it's possible that someone could turn back around and go in. But Sangria, where to put you? Charge rifle. There, there. And... Did I not set that? Does it need power? You're on. I guess you just haven't triggered yet. Rabbit must have just done that. Okay, we'll have to watch that one, make sure that actually works. So, Sangre, where to put you? Klaus and Rabbit are here to shoot down the length. Um, most of our weapons are 22 or more. Auto pistols, 22 in range. The charge rifles, 22 in range. The the revolvers are 26 in range. We're not using the miniguns, so which are, what? Well, they're less than 22. 18? And the shotgun was like 16. So remind me what a short bow and a great bow do, and a recurve bow. We have t three different kinds of bows in here now. So you are a short bow gear. Your range is range 29. Uh, great bow. You look like a great bow. Superior one too. Range is leather. Why am I not seeing it? Because I hit the wrong thing. Right there. Okay. I don't need to know your meat amount. I need to know your range of 32. Wow. So we're not going to do very well against any of the ranged in here. The recurve bow should be even longer, right? That looks like a recurve. Yeah. You are 32 also. So you're the same as a great bow. We probably do more damage. Damage 14. Great bow. Although we're looking at a, what, an awful recurve compared, a poor recurve compared to a, let's get a a poor like great bow that's a short bow that's a recurve there's a great bow and in case that offsets um yeah there okay so still the 32 range and damage of 18 really the recurve is not better so that was the whole point of a recurve bow uh, maybe i'm thinking compound but i would think that they're kind of similar in their their advantages anyway you guys are all going this way and none of our pistols or charge rifles can compete for distance so probably best to put all of you guys into the uh, into the dark that might be what we're going to have to do so sangria you were cutting a poplar tree thank you but uh, come on down here anyway um actually draft and go here and then take a position is this tree in the way can you get a shot off of there i don't know We'll try putting you there. Actually, here and then there. Hmm. Okay. Um, Shantigo, you're actually going to go here, there, and there to force that door to get open. 
Okay, these doors are functioning and they will work. Okay, we can get through here. And they're not forbidden. They're not forbidden. I've forgotten all about that. I don't want people pathing through here. I forgot all about that. So after we're done here, we need to forbid those. So we're not uh, waking these folks up every time someone from over here wants to come inside. Um, so we got Sangria. You are assigned. Kathra, you are down here cutting blocks, needs. So you were fine. You just went without a meal and sleep because I had told you to go over there to start the episode so I can show you not getting any experience whatsoever. You've got no weapon at all. And all of our weapons are now up there in the gauntlet. Ooh, problem. You don't have any shooting skill either, do you? No, you've got the shooting of five. It's Miss P that's... Well, who was the one? Alicia? Kathra? Sangria? No. Okay, well, we don't have any ones. I thought we did. Alright, so Miss P has the least shooting skill. And she's sleeping right now. So, Kathra, I need something on you that uh, will do you some good. I guess we're sending you up into here. You're going to come and equip that one. And you'll be just kind of working from this direction then when that happens. Um, okay, so who's left? Michael, I sent you up to get a meal. You are eating that meal. And you are armed with, with this guy. So, you've got some distance. And you got some decent run speed too where to put you with your distance hmm distance meaning 31 gear assault range 31 yeah where to put you these are 45s I want to say something like that okay still gotta wait for you to finish your meal though and Alicia you character four revolver let's and your needs you're good and consuming a fine meal i did send you in there yeah where are you i've seen that line there alicia you're heading for the same stack you're right there okay i thought that was handy's line okay so everyone klaus you've got to go that way to get there you scared me a little bit there okay 37 minutes into this, and we haven't even started shooting yet. All right, so let's get into position. Utah, you're still, I assume, going to eventually realize you're not supposed to be out here. Anybody else? Any other animals out? Most everybody has found their way in. Any dogs out here? You're over there. You'll get the order soon. Anybody hauling from this side? No. All right, so I guess it's just Utah out here. You guys, nobody took the bait to go after Sangria. Nope. Okay, they're all coming through here. So, yeah, we're going to have to rethink that gauntlet. All right, so Sangria, you are heading kind of right through the middle of this. You're not going to get there. Okay, what to do with you? Got a charge rifle. I would love to use it. Our turrets did get turned on. So if this is going to happen more and more often, we're going to have to get a, a backup turret. Or more, more turrets in this area. Probably right there. And maybe something like over here to work this area. Although this isn't as big an issue anymore. So we sure could use some some uh, stone doors down there. Yeah, turret right here is probably going to be smart. Although this guy could shoot it. Trying to help out. What to do with Sangria? You're not going to get through here before you're going to be in range. Hmm. Um... Chantico's in place. Would love to have had you down in there. Alicia, you're eating. Michael, you, you, you got done. You are down here already. Draft and head to here. And who else was handy? Double click. There you are. You're re-roofing. Now you are assigned. Hmm. From long distance too. Yeah. What to do with you? I don't know. You're going to be in their range anywhere through here real soon. Faster than... Although you've got a good run speed. kind of want to get you back up into here. Let's get you all the way to there. And these guys are going to fall back this direction too. And eventually probably head for the gauntlet. For the safety of the gauntlet. Um, anybody that I have missed. Catherine's on her way to grabbing something that she can shoot. Okay. 
So it really comes down to Sangria. Shooting range of 22. All the ranged are... I didn't see any Pilas in here. No Pilas to deal with. Okay. Nope. So they're... They're... Obviously ranged, or they are obviously melee, 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 melee. Um, I don't know what to put her. I really don't, because she's a target within any range that she can shoot from. Does she just make the run? You're running at 4.49. I don't think you're going to get through there, especially walking really slow through here. You're going to be target all the way through. Because these guys are going to get all the way into, into open. And then they're going to see cover. Hmm. Let's try it. Sangrip, you head for here. Then we'll try to get you... Well, we'll assume that you're going to then go to here. And then head up into... Hmm. There. And shoot it this way in case these guys have already made their way through. We'll have to rework that as we go. I have to keep this thing fluid. We should already be shooting with our turrets. Well, at least our snipers. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Good shot, Klaus. Took out Coyote and scared the crap out of everybody. <laughs> that was a nice little graphic there. I was impressed. Okay. Rabbit, it's your turn to do that. Sangria, I think you've got a clear shot to get yourself in a position now. That's going to work out well. Did I miss anybody? Tomislav, you... Apparently I missed. Darn. Okay, let's get you into this. Handy is heading for here. Tomislav, boy, it would have been nice to have both of you over here. Tomislav, you head kind of in this direction too, and we'll position you somewhere at that point. Um, Rabbit's there. Shantigo, you are there and ready for someone to turn this corner. Klaus, Sangria, Kathra, Michael, Mississippi, Alicia. You did not. Okay, good. Found you. You head into here next to Shantigo, and we'll see just how to make this work. How to work three people out of this one point here. We may be moving you guys back and forth as you lose line of sight and get into there. But let's see what Rabbit can do here. I assume you're the next shot. Um, right there, you're aiming. Klaus is cooling down. These guys are still coming in. Sangria, boy, your range right now doesn't do you any good. Not really. I got to get you into here. Okay. Let's keep going. Rabbit, your shot's coming up. You guys... <laughs> coming in boom and Klaus is shot so Badger took a shot to the right leg Badger is now going slow Klaus's next shot missed boom 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 turrets getting involved handy you are moving to over here is that a problem let's put you here instead that should keep you well you still be shooting through these guys though these guys are gonna be moving here real soon anybody starting to aim yet you're all still moving. Okay. There's a big boom. Who was that? Right here. That was Alicia. That was the uh, revolver. Missed. Okay. Saw the body. Got scared. That sounds like a Shantico shot. Yep. Right there. Anyway. You. Sangria. Getting into position. Good. I could still risk getting you to open that door. So you can shoot through it. Now... There was something I discovered clear back in Alpha 13, and since then I've tried to find it, and I have forgotten. And that's going to delay this battle even more. It's probably going to be a long episode, or a two-parter. Could very well be a two-parter. But there was a way to determine what your cover was. And I have always had trouble finding that again. Alicia, if I were to go here... Cover is not in this area, right? Combat, aiming time, that's all right there. That's all this. Okay, that doesn't really do any good. Carry capacity, it's not there. Is it your weapon? It's not your weapon. Is it the space? No. How do you determine if I were to wait for somebody to start shooting and then I would see their target's cover? I don't know exactly how to tell what the cover is in this position taken into account. If I just pass over there. Cover, there it is. Okay. A lot of these stats are in very random feeling places. It's hard to really tell. 
So we've got granite wall stops 60%, wooden door stops 60%. Now I thought being under the cover of darkness would make a difference. I'm not seeing darkness as a modifier in here. Let's go over to Shantico. Cover 21%. Now does that mean he's 80 or 79% exposed? Or does that mean he's only 21% exposed? That feels weird to see it that way. I'm seeing wooden door stops 75% of what's coming in, and the granite wall will stop another because it's not it's not fully in front of them. But I don't know, let me know what you think about that. How does that specifically work? Shots by Kanga is clear down to 6.9% of hitting them. Right there. So Kanga's aiming? No, you're moving. But Kanga is the only one that is available to hit, right? Shot by Kanga. Or is that shot to Kanga? But is worded by. So yeah, that's a little confusing. It's not it's not written very obviously, let's put it that way. I can't look at that and have any confidence that I understand what it is I'm looking at. Anyway, let's see what uh, what Shantico's gonna do here. Boom, boom, boom. Miss, miss, miss. And actually could have potentially hit several in there. Oh, Alicia got a shot on Kanga. Who is heading in? I don't know where she's going. He? Uh, Kanga male, but it's probably time to get moving. Where are you heading to? You are just moving and there's no... You're probably going for cover like right over here, but that's not gonna do me much good. I need an auto pistol right in here. Don't have one. Need something that's gonna shoot quickly. Um, boy. What do you do here? It's the first time to really experiment with this one. Yeah, I can see this battle being a two-parter. Just so that you guys can can chime in on, on tactic and what you think. Over here, is anybody aiming yet? No, yes, we do have an aim about to happen. So, Trenka is getting ready to fire a short bow at. So, Trenka has a 0.49% chance. Yeah, cover is only 30%. Hmm. Over here, 0.61%. Why? This feels like more wide open. You see why I say it doesn't feel like... It doesn't feel obvious. Um, because we're accumulating... Well, we have cover of only 30%. Hmm. Well, I guess we can just wait and see what happens when that shot happens. Then we got to get people moving. Boom. So this comes in. Hit again. Well, if that one hit, then we're going to have to stop and reposition everybody. Hit right there. Okay. So you are aiming up in there. Interesting. So did they really don't acknowledge that these guys are here because they're undercover and hidden and whatnot? Could be. I could sneak somebody in right here and possibly take out Kanga. Though Kanga does have a fast shoot speed. Um, the revolver's probably got the best chance of doing something like that. You're going that way. You're getting a shot off over there. You're shooting into here. You're not. So, shooting just Trenka right now. And probably aiming at this. Right there. Being shot by 49% chance, 61%. Michael, nobody's aiming at. Okay, cannot hit, shot by Tranka, cannot hit target. Okay, you're going into there. All right, I feel pretty vulnerable sitting right here right now, but it doesn't seem to indicate numbers-wise that we're in trouble yet. Now we've got a lot of melee there heading into these guys. These guys are going to have to retreat and get out of here. Um, Handy is about to shoot through Klaus to take out Riga, right? Shot by Handy, 21% chance. It's time to get Klaus out of here. So Klaus, I need you to fall back to there. And Rabbit, Riga's going to continue moving, which means Handy's aim is going to continue sweeping over. So Rabbit, you got to get out of here too. So you head back into this area as well. And Kathra, you're still going for that revolver. So you're going to be helping from that distance. Michael, you're still doing okay, but you're going to be the, the lone target here soon. 
Yeah. Tomislav, you're still making your way in. I don't know where to make you to. That assault rifle is going to be really handy, though. Let's get you over there. And how are you going to choose? Right there. You're fine. All right, you took more shots. You are still trying to shoot over to here. So I think you guys are safe. Um, Trontigo, I can't see that you still have an aim into there. Probably don't, but you'll get an aim up into here real soon, too. Okay. So you're still shooting. Nobody else is... No, you right there are shooting at Shantigo. Though it's not acknowledging it. So no hint that you're being aimed at. Though that looks to be what's going on there. Watching for targets. Who are you aiming down at? It'd have to be Shantigo. Does it... It's like it's not going to tell me anything now. So... All right, it still shows that Vol is about to aim, has a 7% chance of getting you, and a 9% chance of getting you, but no chance of getting you. No, oh, Vol, there it is. It recalculated or something. Was I in too close? No. Huh, that'll tell me. So 8% chance of being shot by. 7% chance, Sangria won't be in there at all. Okay, so Vol's an issue. And if I stepped you back one, hmm, Alicia, you've got a helmet, right? Cloth toque, look like a helmet, okay. Do I send you in to open up this door? No, you're already assigned to go around the corner. Okay, Sanger, you're assigned to hit there if you can. So Santigo, yeah, you're going to step back one and see if that changes what happens here. You guys are moving. You're going to be moving. And Tomislav's heading that way. Who am I missing? I feel like there's somebody else that needs to be involved here. We've got one, two, three, four, two sleepers, five, six, seven, eight. We have 11. I'm missing somebody. One, two, three. Michael. No, Mississippi. That's, that's four, five. Okay. Six. Nobody's down in here, right? No. So six and seven, eight. No, okay. I didn't catch you guys. Nine, ten, eleven. There we go. So everybody's accounted for. Let's see what happens this next round and especially what's going to happen right there. Boom. I didn't hear what that dull thud was, but right there, that's what it was. Rigo is down and gone. Okay. Sangria, you're not doing any good now because Rigo didn't go around the corner. Let's get you there. Uh, there. Go here. See what that does. You're turning the corner. You're sitting here shooting up into there. You're still about to shoot. That's the big question mark. And here it comes. You were going after Shantigo and or Alicia. And it... Ooh, got him. Ouch. Shantigo, what happened to you? Health. Cut to the torso and the liver. But no immediate danger. <laughs> I would think any internal organs would be immediate danger. But, yeah. Roll of the dice and you lost there. Okay. Alicia's the next one. What happened there? Who fired you? Did Rico get that one off? Did, and I think it hit right there. Michael shooting, going into there. This here's a melee coming in. This guy is probably going to be after him. Vol is still potentially aiming. So really, this is the next big issue or the next big challenge. What's going to happen here? Turning the corner, aiming at. I don't want to. Let me hit F11 there. Oh, that feels so much better. And click away. So we got nothing over here. Now we can see everything. Um, I believe everything. We still have Tomislav coming in. We've got to figure out what to do with him. But nobody else is going to harm us right now. So what's going to happen here? And where are Michael's shots going to go? There's a bang right there. Somebody got him. And there's an arrow coming in from, from Tranka. Heading in to this guy and missing. Okay, Alicia, you shot? Is that what that mark is? Yep, Kanga took it. And is now... Aiming at Shantigo, 
who is also being aimed at Vol. Shantigo, I need you sideways. Sangria, you just got off your shots. Let's get you sideways and potentially out of here. Yeah, let's put you there. And Shantigo, you're going there. Let's see if you guys can get out of here before that happens. Not going to happen. We're going to get a shot. Jenga, what'd you get? Kanga? Head and left arm. Doesn't say exactly what. Shot off the left hand. Ow! That had to do something to your accuracy, didn't it? Um, right here. Combat. Shooting accuracy. 88%. With a bow? One-handed? Rimworld? Come on now. <laughs> That's nuts. You could change your target, though, and go after Alicia. Yeah. You're ready to shoot, though. Okay, that went in. I think it just hit the wall there. Nope, it hit Shantigo again? Man, cut to the right foot. Shantigo, you're getting hurt here. All right, Alicia, take him out. So what's happening here? You are... And I'm at 55 minutes or so. Mm, you are going to get shot by everything as you are trying your best to get to Rabbit. Really? You're going all the way up there? Go for it. Now, you guys are all going to be able to shoot down into this area. Your range handy is still this whole area, which means you could you could shoot us. Yep, you could. <laughs> Tomislav, where did you ever end up? Oh, you were going this way. Okay, I've got to remember you're over there. Um, you are probably going to go after Alicia next, who's about to get off a shot, and then I'm getting her out of there. Bunch of arrows going into this guy who hasn't been touched yet with all these sandbags. Oh, that's nice. All of these guys are shooting at him, plus Handy, and eventually these folks when they end, and Michael. So, Colmia here is either toast or will be downed soon. Okay. Um, I guess it comes down to Alicia at this point. Shantigo, where can you be of help here? Let's get you to open that door and then get back to well do that and then get back to here i can't do that okay that shot went off missed i need you back you're going to do that and now can i tell you to go back i can't so i've just got to do that i've got to wait for it and do it in stages um alicia you jumped back and i guess put you you're shooting through. Cool. I didn't know you could do that. That's quite a distance. Shantigo, you're going to do that. Now, can I tell you to go back here afterward? I cannot still. Okay. Anyway, over here, melee, melee, you are short bow. You've got potential of doing some damage. We need to take you out. So, boy. Handy, you're already aiming. Klaus, you're aiming. Oh, you're all potentially dangerous here. You, health, heart, run speed, three. You, run speed, 3.3. It's going to take you a while to get there, but these are all uh, snipers. They take a long time between shots. I wish you guys were after the turrets, but you're heading after people. A rabbit. Oh, you're going after a turret. You don't know where you're going. Handy and Klaus. Klaus more so. Just started his shot. Let's aim you here instead. Fire at. Rabbit. Fire at. Let's take out the ranged first. You guys are going to be hit by so many turrets and Michael. I think we're okay. You guys are... Watching for targets. You're most likely all going after this. And hopefully you hit Sarah at the same time. Um, Shantigo, you're still trying to get to that door. So you are still moving. And now you're out of that square. I can tell you to go back next. You are aiming at the turret now. Alicia, pop back into here. Tomislav, you're coming around the corner. Good. And that's probably where we're going to end this episode. I don't want to go into a, the hour and 25 minutes it's going to take to really finish this one. So, 
you're in there, you're all aiming here, and you're aiming at the turret. Oh, good. Get uh, Sarah on your way, please. Almost. Okay. You're actually aiming at Michael. Ooh. Or else you just missed the turret, but that's close. You're shooting into there. Before I let this go, that big boom was probably right here. And you're ready to let loose. You're ready to let loose. Oh, there's so much going on at once. I'm going to position kind of like this, and you guys can choose who you want to watch and what's going to happen. Just kind of take this slow motion for a while, because there's too much happening at once. We've taken this one down. Two shots are being aimed at this guy. You're trying to get your way into that turret, which still hasn't been touched. Oh, that's good to see. Michael, you're still safe, but that is coming in. Missed. Good. Down dead. You're going to be dead soon. You're firing. You're aiming this way at Michael. Oh, you are. Michael's chance? I'm not getting any kind of a pop-up on Michael. Is that because F-11's hit? It is. Alright. You... I guess we're going to need to recalculate the whole game, aren't we? Yeah, we're getting no stats now. Still no stats. Okay. So, Sangria shot up this direction. Shantigo's moving in to his new position, which probably really should be a hospital bed. Let me look at that. Shantigo, are you done? Are you out of here? Um, health. Still no immediate danger and just cuts. All right, we're going to keep you in. Did you by chance happen to get a hold of an armor vest? You did. Look at that. That's what's kept you going. That's why you can get a cut to your liver and, and not have it be life-threatening. Okay. So, you're still... Well, you're going to reposition and re-aim at Alicia soon. If I were to put you here, maybe you can do this. Kanga, how many shots can you take? You've lost a hand... Your gunshot to your left leg and your left arm and your head can't be much longer for this world. So I think you're going to be safe there. Sanger, you're good there. Tomislav's going to get a shot off into here soon. And what are you doing? Don't really know at this point. You're the, the big question here. And Michael, you specifically fire at. Okay. Sanger already is. I'm not going to risk Chantico in that door to do that as well. All these guys could take him out. All right, let's see what Tomasov's got planned. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Badger. Assault rifle to the left leg. And took an improvised turret to the left leg and took a sniper rifle to the right leg. So Badger's not going to be running anytime soon. Badger has a short bow, so could turn around really quick and shoot at Tomislav. So Got to be aware of that. Oh, lots of shots just happened. So, let me move up a little bit. You guys can all decide what you want to watch happening here. I don't see anything too worrisome as far as we're concerned. Kanga is probably the next big one, and you're about to shoot at Michael again. So, with that, Michael, do I back you up? Actually, I take you out of cover if I back you up, so I think we just got to roll the dice there. Once that one hits, there's another one coming in at Michael. He's fine still. <laughs> Rabbit shot's coming in. Yes. Oh, this one's down. Good shot, Alicia. And she just got... Woohoo! <laughs> Killed someone. Positive 13 in her mood. Yeah, Alicia, you're special. Um, and on that note, I think we're going to call this one done. So, next time, you know, I'll, I'll wait for everyone's comments to come in to let me know what you think and how best to read this kind of stuff, which I see it's not going to tell me again. Because nobody's aiming at us. Somebody's aiming at Rabbit, I'm sure. No? Nope. Well, you can back up a little bit and look at the, the specs for these pop-ups. And uh, let me know what you think about what that means. Why was there only a 0.69% chance of hitting Klaus over here when there was far more cover showing to Shantigo over here, though he had an 8% chance of being hit? So I'm reading something wrong. But anyway, I'll catch you next time, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.